Hi, this is June, the designer of Purry Thread. Welcome to our designer's vlog. Currently, Netflix is continuing the captivating Bridgerton story, delving into the world of Queen Charlotte. Set in the flashy period of Regency England around 1810, the entire Bridgerton series presents us with a visual feast of magnificent costumes. These costumes draw from historic references but infuse them with modernized colors and aesthetics. The Regency era, also renowned for the classic tale of Pride and Prejudice, introduced empire-style dresses with their distinctively high waistlines. The most common sleeve styles of the era were short, puffed, or fitted. Sheer oversleeves sometimes covered these short sleeves, adding an elegant touch. Long sleeves varied between fitted or full, with some featuring sections of short puffs, while others sported a single puff at the shoulder, tapering down to a fitted arm. The costumes in Bridgerton capture the essence of this fashion era, creating a visual spectacle. While the story of Bridgerton's Queen Charlotte is intertwined with scandals surrounding the marital life of the Prince Regent, who later became King George IV, our focus in this video will center solely on the matter of fashion development. In 1837, the 18-year-old Victoria ascended the throne as the Queen of England, ushering in a new era of style and governance. She would go on to restore the prestige of the monarchy, earning the respect and admiration of the English people. During the period of transition from the Empire style to the Romantic style, which emerged between 1820 to 1825, we witnessed the gradual lowering of the waistline, while sleeves on dresses continued to grow larger and larger. Skirts became flared or pleated, creating a fuller silhouette. Underneath these full-skirted dresses, a down-filled hip pad known as a bustle added volume. Other garments of the time included corsets worn over chemises reflecting the evolving trends. By 1895, leg of mutton sleeves had become quite the trend. These large sleeves were designed to accentuate a narrow waist, symbolizing, in my opinion, the power of women, and in that era, the power of the queen. Puffy sleeves have made many comebacks in fashion history, even in recent years. They are often reintroduced to evoke more optimistic, romantic periods. As we know, fashion often mirrors people's emotions. So during stressful times, bright colors and feminine romantic styles can surge in popularity, providing a beacon of hope. Take, for instance, the spring-summer 2020 ready-to-wear collection by Alexander McQueen's designer, Sarah Burton. She breathed new life into the puffy sleeve, innovating its construction with the use of frills to achieve volume. She incorporated an open shoulder design for a fresh modern feel and applied a tiered design to the sleeves for added novelty. These unique touches transformed her collection into something very romantic, veering away from the original masculine feel of the leg of mutton sleeves. It is always fascinating to explore the realms of fashion history and uncover the inspirations behind popular styles. Understanding the cultural context and legacy of a bygone era often serves as a wellspring of creativity for contemporary designers. In the ever-evolving landscape of fashion, we often witness revivals and modern interpretations of old styles. Another example is corset. Corsets have come a long way, transforming from restrictive undergarments to power statements. On one side, we see how John Galliano masterfully revived the corset as a seductive outerwear piece in Maison Margiela's Fall 2017 collection. His use of sheer fabrics and trench coat elements completely redefined our perception of corsets. On the other, we have the recent H&MX Muggler collaboration, bringing the corset back into the limelight with a modern twist. Both collections are a testament to the evolution of women's fashion and empowerment, but at Purry Thread we believe in the power of comfort, elegance, and innovative textiles. We celebrate the soft power of femininity and the unique strength that lies within. 
Fashion should empower and uplift, and we are here to champion that. What's your take on the evolution of fashion and how fashion should represent women's empowerment? Share your thoughts. So that wraps up today's vlog. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments. Until next time, stay inspired and stay fabulous.